Hey mama, welcome. I'm Naomi and today I want to share with you some of my very favorite yoga poses to do for low back relief during pregnancy. Now I'm filming this right at about 36 weeks pregnant so I'm pretty close to the finish line so it might sort of seem like this is geared more towards like later in your pregnancy but actually these are poses that will serve you well from day one or whenever you start feeling any twinginess in your low back throughout your pregnancy and maybe even through labor delivery and even postpartum so i have a couple of things with me just to make it a little easier i've got two blocks just in case. I have a chair and we will be using a wall. So you wanna make sure that you are near a wall and that you have some of these things with you just to make it simpler. You don't necessarily need the blocks or the chair, but if you have them, you can use them, okay? So I'll give you lots of options not to worry. So that said, let's get started. So the first thing that I wanna show you is a version of Cat Cow that I really love for creating a little bit more space in my low back and a little bit more stability. So I actually like using blocks in my third trimester. If you are a little bit earlier in your pregnancy, like first or second trimester, you really shouldn't need them. But later on in your pregnancy, having a little bit more space between you and the floor is kind of nice. So cat cow, all you're doing, hands about as wide apart as your shoulders, knees about as wide apart as your hips, and your hands should be a little bit ahead of your shoulders. So your arms are a bit on the diagonal. And just as you inhale, stretch your belly and chest forward so you lengthen. And as you exhale, round up just a little bit. And it should feel kind of nice to move your body, your spine in particular in this way. And this is really one of my very favorite poses during pregnancy. I even did this during labor with my <laughs> second child. So lots of benefits to cat cow. Just creating more healthy movement through your spine is going to create low back relief for you. Okay, and then after you've done that, rounding up through your back and lengthening forward, softening your belly forward, come on back to a more neutral table pose. Okay, take your left leg and just stretch it straight back behind you. Again, you can have your hands still on the blocks, you can put them on the ground, but really press into your left foot. And as you push into your left foot, see if you can lift that lower part of your belly just a little bit. Okay, I know it's gonna feel kind of tricky, <laughs> particularly if you are in your third trimester, because it feels like there's so much to lift. But that lengthening down, your backside towards your heel, is going to give you a lot of really sweet relief. Okay, bring your left knee back in and extend your right leg straight back and really push into your right foot so you're not like hanging down through your belly. Really push through your foot so you should feel that lift through your low belly. And the more you push through your foot, the more you should feel that lower part of your back, top of your pelvis slide downward toward your heel. Okay, and that's going to give you a lot of length, a lot of space in your low back in a really nice way. Take a full breath in here, Get full breath out, bring your knee back in, and then you can get the blocks out of the way. You might need one of them in just a moment, and I'm going to show you two variations of this next one, but you're going to come to a wall. Now this you can also do at a table or a chair. I just really like doing it at the wall, so I'm going to show you at the wall first. Okay, place your hands on the wall and walk your feet back until your torso is about level with the floor. Knees are bent. Okay, now dig into your heels and try to push the wall away. Okay, just stretch it out. Try to push the wall away. And your hands might not stay solid on the wall. You might be up on your fingertips. That's okay. Try to push it away. Okay, and then make your way back up slowly and carefully. And you can grab one of your blocks too if you have it. Place the block in between your thighs. Now before you do anything else, just squeeze the block as tightly as you can. Okay, it should be nice and high up. Okay, so it's wedged in between your thighs and just squeeze. And you don't even have to do anything else, you just squeeze. But if you squeeze the block in between your thighs, what you might feel is just a little bit of space in your low back and a little bit of relief. Now, add that to what you just did at the wall. Hands at the wall, walk your feet back, 
and squeeze the block and try to push back away from the wall as much as you can. Keep squeezing the block though, as much as you can. Just squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Okay, take a full breath in, you can keep your knees bent. Full breath out and just push the wall away. You can even be on your fingertips as you push the wall away. Good, and then make your way back up. And you're gonna keep the block just for a little bit longer. Okay, place your right hand at the wall, walk away from the wall just a little bit and push. Okay, now as you push, try not to like arch your belly forward. Instead, round a little bit into the right side of your low back, anchor, or left side of your low back rather, anchor your left leg and just lengthen through your left side. That's kind of nice, right? That's good. Okay, and then come on back up and go to the other side. And I'm just turn my back to you because this is where my wall is. So you can see from the back, you're gonna walk as far away as you can, okay, while you can keep your left hand solid and just push. Push your left hand into the wall and round a little bit into the right side of your low back. Just round. Good, then come on back and ditch the block. Okay, you don't need it anymore, although I think the block is one of the best things that you can have for creating a little bit of low back relief because it reminds you to squeeze in, to stabilize your pelvis, which, believe me, is a useful skill when you are pregnant because your pelvis is trying to go the other direction. It's trying to widen and open, which is totally normal and totally okay, but it can wreak havoc on your low back. It can feel like a lot of stress, so that pulling in that stability will feel really, really sweet throughout your pregnancy, okay? So you're gonna stay at the wall, but you could also use a chair, and I'm gonna show you both ways so that it makes sense. Now it's helpful if there's like a little ledge at the wall, but like there is here for me, it's very convenient. If there isn't, right, you can just put your foot up on the wall, heel on the floor. Okay, but again, hands at the wall. Okay, you don't have to lean very far forward, but straighten both legs and really push Again, push the wall away and lengthen. Okay, and then to see it with a chair, and I'm just gonna get this blanket out of the way for a moment. To see it with a chair, it's the same idea. Okay, and this chair happens to have something that I could put the ball of my foot up on. It's a little high, but I could still do it. If it doesn't have that, it's no big deal. You can do it without pushing your foot into it. But it's the same thing, right? Try to press away from the chair. So you can have your hands on the chair, your forearms on the chair, and really you want to be able to use that leverage to lengthen, okay? So if you are using a chair, make sure that it's not on a slippery surface so it can't slide away from you. That's no fun for anybody. Super scary, actually. <laughs> really drive back through your hips and lengthen. Oh. And that should feel pretty good too. Okay. And then I'll just give you one more. And you can use the chair since you have it. You sit right on the edge of the chair. Place your hands on your thighs and just round a little bit. It's like seated cat cow, like the very first pose you did and arch. Okay, press your hands into your thighs so you round, and then arch. Just a few more of those. Press into your thighs and round, and arch. Two more times, press into your thighs to round, and then arch, and then last time, press into your thighs, round back, and then pull on your thighs and arch forward. Again, just to give your spine a little bit more mobility, just gonna make your back feel a lot better. Okay, so these are a few of the things that you can do when you are feeling any low back pressure or pain or instability or drama during your pregnancy. 
Um, these are just a few of the poses that you can try, ones that have given me a lot of relief during my three pregnancies and ones that I offer to my students and my clients all the time who are going through some of that, you know, super fun low back pain that sometimes comes up when you are pregnant. So I hope that these are really useful for me. Please let me know in the comments below if you try these out and if they give you any relief. And as always, thank you so much for taking such good care of yourself during your pregnancy and giving yourself yoga. It's super healthy to keep your body moving through your first, second, and third trimesters so that you feel good in your body and so that you feel, you know, ready to bring this baby into the world. So thanks for tuning in, and I look forward to sharing more of my favorite yoga poses with you for pregnancy again really soon. Until then, bye. Hey, did you enjoy that practice with my favorite yoga poses to do while you're pregnant? Well, if you did, I have an entire series for you that features all of my favorite yoga poses to do during pregnancy. So all of these practices are less than 10 minutes long, so you don't even need a lot of time to do them, which is pretty awesome. And these practices, this series, is totally free. Isn't that amazing? So if you want to join me for the entire series, all you have to do is click on the link below in the description and get access to every single one of these really quick practices to support you from your first trimester through your third trimester and beyond. So I hope that you'll click on that link and get the rest of the practices in this series totally for free and get on your mat every day that you want during your pregnancy. See you on the mat really soon. Bye.